Hey, Phoenix Police, hands up! Where is Phoenix Police? Hands! Hands up! I'm good, I'm good. Hi everyone, Donut here. Do I have one crazy ass shooting breakdown for you today? The jump out boys are back at it again, and boy did they jump the hell out of this one. This one actually made me jump a little bit. Surprised the hell out of me. Surprised the hell out of the suspect too, and he got shot a bunch of times. Spoilers? When I found this video the first time I was watching it, I was like, oh, that's cool, a foot chase. And then I was like, oh, shit, bad guy comes out of nowhere. And then the bullets come out of somewhere into the bad guy. <laughs> he just accidentally ran into some bullets. Speaking of accidents, if you've ever been in an auto accident and you think your own compensation, you should speak to my sponsor, Morgan & Morgan. Let's say you're in an accident and you get hurt. Well, that injury could be worth millions. Insurance companies will often lowball clients' claims. Morgan & Morgan will fight to get you the money you deserve. Hell yeah, money. In just the past couple months, Morgan & Morgan saw verdicts of 12 million in Florida, 26 million in Philadelphia, 6.8 million in New York, 8 million in Florida, and 18 million in Atlanta. They are not afraid to go to court for you and get you the biggest award possible. And it only takes a few minutes to see if you have a case. The best part is the fee is absolutely free unless you win. Starting a claim with America's largest injury firm is just a click away. Hit that link in the description or the comment below or just go to the forthepeople.com slash donut operator. If you think you deserve compensation for your injury, hit up Morgan & Morgan. Again, thank you for watching my ads, and if you don't, you're not a good person. Joking, I love all you folks. Before we get into the shooty shoots, I just want to thank you folks for all coming together and helping get Paul Harrell to 1 million subscribers. If you don't know Paul, he's an old school gun YouTuber that makes some really cool and very educational stuff. I've actually used some of his videos of examples here on my channel. I think I used his video where he was penetration testing car doors one time in one of my videos, and then there's there's several others. The guy makes good content. If you haven't heard, Paul was diagnosed with terminal cancer, so all the gun tubers kind of came together said hey we need to get him that gold play button we were all able to talk to youtube and expedite the process of getting paul his gold play button it's been moved to the top of the production list so again thank you guys for subscribing and helping out with that one more thing real quick we'll get into shooty shoots one more thing i want to tell you guys about i was on the news for bullying elmo what are you going to do with that stick no that was not word vomit that i just made up and yes i was talking about that Elmo. So Elmo says, Elmo is just checking in. How's everybody doing? Naturally, I say, Elmo sold me fentanyl behind Target. And then the news says, Elmo sold me fentanyl behind Target by Donut Operator. And then the big boy news said, Steve's right. I was reading through some of the responses. The top one for me right now says, Elmo sold me fentanyl behind Target. Uh, then there's another one that says, I regret nothing. Let's do some surprise shootings. January 5th, 2024, Peoria, Peoria, Peoria. Peori, Peoria, Arizona. Look at this stupid fucking boomer Google search. What happened in Peoria, Arizona? I don't know, Grandpa. You got to be a little bit more specific with the nightmare brick. According to Phoenix Police, detectives, not the fat kind, the jump out boys, were hunting for a dude with warrants. The primary warrant is only what reports will describe as a felony warrant. So I don't know what the hell kind of warrant it was. All they say is it's a felony. His other warrants, though, were fighting police and possession of a firearm by a felon. That's not good. We now know that the suspect is willing to fight police and normally carries a gun. That's why this specific group of boys was called in to catch him. This particular group of ruffians searching for our suspect are known as the Fugitive Apprehension and Investigation Detail, or if you want to use their super f***ing cool nickname, Fade. As far as the information on this shooting goes, without me having to submit a FOIA or a Freedom of Information Act request, that's how you get police reports and other stuff that isn't normally available to the public. There's little to nothing about this incident on the internet. There's body cam and a few major details like who got shot someone got shot a unit that did it but there's not a lot of minor details like where they got shot or how many times they got shot so you know what we're just gonna piece this one together might have to pull out some crime recreation software for that we got body camera footage from four different officers out of the four officers who shot this guy three of them used guns but one of those fellows happened to have a 40 bike mic grenade launcher with ouchie rounds or 37 millimeter for everyone out there that cries in the comments when i say 40 mic mic but 40 mic mic sounds way cooler and your mom doesn't like you the first body camera footage that we're gonna look at is the officer on the 40 mic mic. He's the only one of the officers who was injured in this situation. He was shot by the suspect. Yeah, like I said, reports don't say where he got shot. All right, Jamie, pull up the first one. Oh, pull it up, Jamie. Hey, Phoenix, please, hands up! Hands up! 
It happened in the blink of an eye, but if you look closely, the suspect pulls out a gun after the cop hits him with a 40 mic mic and starts shooting at the cop who is holding a less than lethal weapon. Our suspect was using this nice little FN pistol right here, which I'm sure he stole out of someone's car. <laughs> might have to do some investigating here to find out more. Using the intersection that police gave, the white wall with blue accents in the video, and the fact that the officer took cover in a garage with at least three doors, I sent our brave little orange man down there to do some recon and figured out what happened. Police said it was in the intersection of West Bell and North 87th Avenue. Let's send our boy in for recon. Hmm, white building, gas station, no blue. Uh-huh, mm hmm would you look at that? There is a three-door garage, and it looked like the suspect was walking right behind a smaller building. We got him, boys. Our suspect was at Larry H. Miller Dodge Peoria, 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 Peoria. Peoria. So now that we know the location, we can upload this to our super high-speed, high-tech crime recreation software that the president is probably going to ban soon because it scares and confuses him like everything else. <laughs> Come on, man. Here's the three-door garage right here that the officer runs into. Here's where the officers with the 40 mic mic and the driver roll up to. Suspect is right here. 40 mic mic officer gets out and says, hey, police. 40 mic mic officer goes, bam. 40 mic mic, bad guy goes, bam, 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 bam. Moving along, let's take a look at the first officer who fired actual bullets, not ones that won't kill someone, ones that actually kill felons. So that officer rolls up right about here. He gets out and he starts shooting at the guy. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Where is Phoenix Police? Hands. Hands up. <laughs> Moving on to the second officer. That officer rolls up right beside his partner right here. He jumps out. He starts shooting at the suspect too. Now right here is the pucker factor of the whole thing that made me go, oh, not only is this officer ran right up on by the suspect, but the crossfire here could have been really gnarly. This officer that we're about to watch, the last one who fired shots, gets out with his long gun. Using our scary and confusing software, we can see that this officer pulled up about right here. The officer gets out and he's right here. The suspect had already started running this way because he's getting shot by two people and runs right up on the officer. So I don't know if you noticed, he transitioned from his rifle to his pistol right there. What I'm guessing happened, maybe he saw the suspect coming towards him and he didn't think he had enough time to bring the long gun up, so he drew his sidearm just to take some point blank shots, maybe. I don't know, what do you guys think about that? Why do you think he transitioned? Let me know in the comments below. Oh, what if it was another rifle jam like the last Jump Out Boy video we did? Where's our crossfire? Where's our crossfire? Watch out, watch out. Get back! Go get the victim! Where? So this officer goes bam, 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 bam. Suspect goes down right there. The officer trips so and he falls right beside the trash cans. Let's go back and look at the crossfire real quick. And I'm not saying they're in the wrong. I mean, crossfire is always bad, but obviously they didn't know this was gonna happen. It was super quick and they were just trying to cut off all escapes for the guy, all them angles, but hit the fan as it always does. The first officer to fire his gun runs up here and continues to shoot at the suspect as the suspect is moving laterally in front of him. That's a hard shot to make. Mind you, this this officer is still right here and he stops shooting right in time. This officer runs right here. Fortunately, he doesn't shoot and he continues over to help his partner after he fell down beside the garbage cans. The driver of whoever was in this car is still over here somewhere, probably helping his partner who got shot, who's also over here somewhere. This officer is shooting this way <laughs> at the suspect. I hope you all enjoyed my TED talk. The only people who were hit by gunfire in that situation was the 40 Mike Mike officer and the suspect a couple times. Reports say that the officer was taken to the hospital with serious injuries but was released later that day. The suspect got shot a bunch of times and died. And I wish I could have heard the conversation between the GM of Larry H. Miller Dodge Ram Peoria explaining to the owner of this TRX that it got shot to sh 
I can relate, my brand new TRX's engine just blew up after 8,000 miles, and I really wanna just shoot it at this point. You can watch the unedited version of this video over at Donut's raw police footage. Mind you, there won't be any really cool crime scene recreation software. If you wanna help support the channel, you can watch the unsubscribe podcast or go to donutoperator.com, get some super sweet merch, follow me everywhere. And until next time, please have a fantastic day. Whacker.